Welcome to our video on the early warning signs of pancreatic cancer. Pancreatic cancer is a formidable opponent in the world of oncology, ranking as the third leading cause of cancer-related deaths in the United States. The pancreas, a vital organ nestled deep within the abdomen, plays crucial roles in digestion and blood sugar regulation. Unfortunately, its location makes early detection of pancreatic cancer particularly challenging. Most patients don't experience noticeable symptoms until the disease has advanced, which contributes to its poor prognosis. However, there's hope. By understanding and recognizing subtle early warning signs, we can improve our chances of early detection. In this video, we'll delve into these signs, explaining their significance and what they mean for your health. We'll explore symptoms ranging from jaundice to changes in digestion and discuss how they relate to pancreatic function. We'll also touch on risk factors that might increase your likelihood of developing this disease. Are you ready to learn about crucial health insights? Hit that like button, subscribe, and let's dive in. Note, the information we're about to discuss is based on medical research and guidelines from leading cancer organizations. Starting with the first sign, jaundice. One of the most visible signs and one of the earliest indicators of pancreatic cancer is jaundice. This condition causes a yellowing of the skin and whites of the eyes due to a buildup of bilirubin, a yellow-brown substance produced when the liver breaks down old red blood cells. In a healthy body, bilirubin travels through the bile duct and is excreted. However, pancreatic tumors can obstruct this pathway, causing bilirubin to accumulate in the bloodstream. This accumulation leads to the characteristic yellow tinge of jaundice. It's important to note that jaundice can be caused by various conditions, including hepatitis and gallstones. However, when caused by pancreatic cancer, it's often accompanied by other symptoms we'll discuss. The presence of jaundice doesn't always mean cancer, but it's a signal that something is amiss in your digestive system. Early detection can lead to timely intervention, potentially improving treatment outcomes. Don't ignore this visible change in your body. Indeed, it could be your pancreas sending an important message. Next, number two, persistent nausea and vomiting. This can be early indicators of pancreatic cancer, particularly when they occur without apparent cause. These symptoms often result from the tumor's impact on the digestive system. As pancreatic tumors grow, they can press against the stomach or small intestine, interfering with normal digestion. This pressure can cause a partial blockage in the digestive tract, leading to feelings of fullness, nausea, and episodes of vomiting. It's important to differentiate between occasional nausea and persistent symptoms. While everyone experiences stomach upset from time to time, nausea and vomiting related to pancreatic cancer tend to be ongoing and may worsen over time. These symptoms might be particularly noticeable after eating, especially fatty or heavy meals. You may also experience a loss of appetite or feel full quickly when eating, which can contribute to unintended weight loss. Pay attention to patterns in your digestive discomfort. If nausea and vomiting become frequent occurrences, especially if they're accompanied by other unusual symptoms, it's time to consult your healthcare provider. Next, number three, persistent unexplained itchy skin, medically known as pruritus. This symptom is often overlooked or attributed to other causes, but it's important to be aware of its potential significance. The itching associated with pancreatic cancer is typically generalized meaning it occurs all over the body rather than in one specific area. It's often described as intense and unrelenting, not relieved by typical treatments like moisturizers or over-the-counter anti-itch creams. This symptom is believed to be caused by the buildup of bile salts in the skin. When pancreatic cancer obstructs the bile duct, bile can't flow normally, leading to an accumulation of these salts in the bloodstream and eventually in the skin. Itching may occur before more obvious signs of jaundice appear. It can be particularly noticeable on the palms of hands and soles of feet, but can affect the entire body. If you're experiencing persistent, unexplained itching that doesn't respond to typical treatments, take note. While it could be due to various factors, from dry skin to allergies, it's worth mentioning to your doctor, especially if it's accompanied by other unusual symptoms. Continuing our exploration with number four, abdominal pain, Abdominal pain, particularly in the upper abdomen, can be an early sign of pancreatic cancer. This pain often has distinct characteristics that set it apart from common stomach discomfort. The pain associated with pancreatic cancer is typically described as a dull, aching sensation that may radiate to the back. It's often more pronounced when lying down and may improve when leaning forward. 
This is due to the tumor pressing on surrounding organs and nerves. As the tumor grows, the pain may become more severe and persistent. Some patients describe it as a gnawing pain that worsens after eating, particularly fatty foods. This is because the pancreas releases digestive enzymes after meals, and if a tumor is present, this process can cause increased discomfort. It's crucial to note that abdominal pain is a common symptom of many conditions, from indigestion to pancreatitis. However, if the pain is persistent, severe, or accompanied by other unusual symptoms, it warrants medical attention. Moving on to number five, a less obvious but equally important warning sign, the sudden onset of diabetes. Onset diabetes, particularly in individuals with no prior history of the condition, can be an early indicator of pancreatic cancer. This connection stems from the pancreas's dual role in the body. It produces digestive enzymes and hormones that regulate blood sugar, including insulin. When pancreatic cancer develops, it can interfere with the organ's ability to produce insulin effectively. This disruption can lead to a rapid onset of diabetes symptoms, including increased thirst, frequent urination, blurred vision, and unexplained weight loss. It's important to differentiate this from the gradual development of type 2 diabetes, often associated with lifestyle factors. The diabetes linked to pancreatic cancer typically appears suddenly and progresses rapidly. If you're diagnosed with diabetes, especially if it seems to come on quickly and without obvious risk factors, pay attention. While new onset diabetes is more often related to other factors, it's worth discussing the possibility of additional testing with your doctor. And lastly, number six, changes in the color and consistency of stool and urine. These changes occur due to the tumor's impact on the biliary system and the pancreas's digestive functions. When pancreatic cancer obstructs the bile duct, it can lead to noticeable changes in urine color. Your urine may become darker, taking on a brown or amber hue. This is due to increased levels of bilirubin in the bloodstream. Conversely, your stool might become lighter or clay-colored. This occurs because bile, which gives stool its characteristic brown color, isn't reaching the intestines due to the blockage. Pancreatic cancer can also interfere with the body's ability to digest fats properly. This can result in stool that's oily, floats in the toilet, or is particularly foul-smelling. This condition, known as steatorrhea, occurs when undigested fats pass through the digestive system. While changes in stool and urine can be caused by various factors, including diet and medication, persistent alterations warrant attention. Risk Factors Understanding the risk factors for pancreatic cancer can help identify individuals who may benefit from closer monitoring. While anyone can develop this disease, certain factors increase the likelihood. 1. Genetics Genetics play a significant role. Individuals with a family history of pancreatic cancer or certain genetic syndromes have an increased risk. Specific gene mutations such as BRCA1 and BRCA2 are associated with higher pancreatic cancer risk. 2. Age Age is another crucial factor. The risk of pancreatic cancer increases with age, with most cases diagnosed in people over 65. This underscores the importance of vigilance as we grow older. 3. Smoking Smoking is a major modifiable risk factor. Smokers have a significantly higher risk of developing pancreatic cancer compared to non-smokers. The risk decreases after quitting, emphasizing the importance of smoking cessation. 4. Chronic Conditions Chronic conditions like diabetes and chronic pancreatitis are also associated with increased pancreatic cancer risk. Long-standing diabetes, particularly type 2, has been linked to a higher incidence of pancreatic cancer. 5. Obesity Obesity and a sedentary lifestyle contribute to increased risk. Maintaining a healthy weight through diet and regular exercise can help reduce your risk. And 6. Exposure to chemicals Exposure to certain chemicals, particularly in industries like metalworking, can increase pancreatic cancer risk. Workplace safety measures are crucial in these environments. Remember, experiencing one or even several of these symptoms doesn't necessarily mean you have pancreatic cancer. Many can be caused by less serious conditions. If you found this information valuable, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. We have more health-related content that could be life-saving. Check out our other videos on the screen. Your support helps us reach more people with crucial health information.